Lucas Media. So we got news coming out of the boxing world. Uh, Eddie Hearn, who's under Matram, who's now s- snatching up all the fighters, is now saying that the should Deontay Wilder beat Zhang this weekend, he may not necessarily fight Anthony Joshua next. Looking at an article from Boxing Scene, and Eddie Hearn says, quote, the front runner to face AJ next is the winner of Hergovic versus Dubois. And hopefully it will be for the IBF world title. But at the same time, if Deontay Wilder comes and looks sensational, maybe it reunites Joshua against Wilder. So now this has been an ongoing saga for literally, literally since 2016. Um, when 2016, 2017. When Anthony Joshua beat Klitschko and got those belts and then he had three belts and Deontay Wilder had the WBC belt and they never was able to fight because of the politics and all the playing games. So Deontay Wilder ended up signing the deal with Matchroom possibly to get the Anthony Joshua fight. Now, honestly, if if Eddie Hearn and Deontay Wilder work out that if Joshua goes up against Dubois whoever or uh for the IBF belt and then he he'll fight Wilder after that I have no problem with that Wilder says he wants to go he wants to become undisputed and at least he's, he's only had the WBC belt so I have no problem with Wilder fighting for any of the belts or even wanting to wait to see what AJ gonna do so they can fight for a world title I do think those brothers should fight for world title and they'll definitely get paid a lot, whether it's in Vegas, the O2 arena, you know, where sorry, oh, I'm sure it'd be in Riyadh, huh? So I, I have no problem with that. If water's cool with it, I'm cool with it. Again, boxing is 90% business, 10% the actual fight. And I'm riding, riding with the, the bronze bomber water, but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.